Good morning. So today I'm going to be doing a video on five tips on how to have better health or lose weight. Um, either of any of these will work for just to get healthier. Okay, so my number one tip is to stop drinking water. If you notice me looking off over there or whatever, I'm looking at the, what I wrote down about this because <laughs> I really like to ramble and I get off subject. So anyways, so just so you're not like, what? what is she looking at and all that sort of thing. Okay, so stop drinking soda. Start drinking more water. Um, aim for like 64 ounces a day of water. It will help with your skin, your skin pores, it will clear your face up better. Um, and the reasons you want to stop drinking soda is as follows. The phosphoric acid in soda um, weakens your bones and it rots your teeth, which is pretty disgusting. Um, the excessive artificial sweeteners actually make you crave more sugary items and more pop. The caramel flavor is made from a chemical, um, actually is made from chemical caramel which is purely a cosmetic and it doesn't add to like the flavor and it's tinted with um, carcinogens, carcin carcinogens, I'm totally butchering that word, but I believe I heard that cigarettes have that in them so that can't be good. Um, they have, formal it has formaldehyde in it guys, that's what they shoot up in your body when you're dead. And they also put that in cigarettes by the way. Um, okay, so formaldehyde is also a carcinogen. Um, oh, well, excuse me, I wrote that wrong. <laughs> um, carcin the formaldehyde is not added in soda, but when you ingest aspartame, it will break down into two amino acids and a menthol, which equals a formic acid. Um, which equals formaldehyde, which is what a diet soda is. If that made any sense at all. <laughs> um, high fructose corn syrup. It's a concentrated form of sugar, fructose, and it's derived from corn. It increases body fat, cholesterol, and your triglycerides. Oh, I just totally ruined that word too. Um, and it makes you hungry. Um, potassium benzoate. Uh, is preservative that can be broken down into benzene in your body and it keeps um, keep your soda in the sun and the um, benzene benzene equals a carcinogen which I didn't know that that's kind of scary and it has food dyes which have been shown to impair brain function um, cause hyperactive activity difficulty in focusing and lack of impulse control um, those three things right there explain me almost to a T. <laughs> and I used to be a huge, huge, huge soda drinker and I really still, I still have one, like, one diet soda a day and I really should stop. I already know that. I stopped a long time ago and I went back to eating it. Okay, number two, eat more fibrous foods like bananas, apples, um, pineapple, skipping on your daily fiber can lead to constipation. Um, it can make going to the bathroom painful um, and uncomfortable. Um, eating too little fiber can make it tough to control your blood sugar and appetite because your fiber regulates the speed of digestion and it contributes to feeling full. Um, there can also be a little bit of overdoing fiber um, and it can move your food through your intestines too quickly which means fewer minerals get absorbed. Um, from your food and it can also result in gas, bloating, cramping, um, and I'm sure diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> so, fiber. Oh, hmm. I lost my place so we'll just skip all of that. Alright, so number three. Tell your friends on social media that you're going on a weight loss journey. Um, any social media you have, YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube is really great because it's like you're in their face and you're showing it to them. 
You guys, I made that side too dark. And you're showing it to them, um, well, hopefully at least once a week so they know you're doing it. Um, people that, if you're engaging enough, people will like to follow you and they're interested in, in either seeing you fail or seeing how you um, get your weight loss off. You get your weight loss off, people will come to you for more information. And then you can help somebody else lose weight too. And that's really exciting, at least for me. I like to help people. So anything that I um, find that helps you, my subscribers, my viewers, my friends, I want to give that to you. So even though I know that I don't like the diet soda thing, you know, I don't, I'm not addicted to, to pop like I used to be. Um, I cannot drink it and not have migraines. Um, but Pepsi used to be my main choice of drink. I had only Pepsi. Um, I think I had a sip of water when I would brush my teeth to wash out my mouth and that was it. Um, and I have clearly changed that, but I had horrible migraines when I tried to quit soda the first time and the second time. Um, and so now I just, I try to keep it down to like once a day or nothing at all. Like sometimes I'll go for like a week and I won't drink it. Um, I'll drink maybe one on the weekend as a treat, um, which I should go back to doing. Um, so you guys, oh, so I think, I don't know if you guys noticed, my face looks a little bit poofier today and it's that time of the month. So I actually lost a, no, I, I stayed the same weight yesterday. Yes, I've, I've gotten back into the habit of weighing myself every day this week. So I didn't gain anything from yesterday today, but I, I look chubbier. Okay, but it's that time of the month and bloating, of course. Okay, so, all right, number four. Woo! <laughs> um, work out at least one or working out at least one hour a day can re reduce your risk of obesity. Yay! Woo! <laughs> um, and the benefits to your brain, it increases your production of neurochemicals that promote your cell repair in your brain. It improves your memory. It um, lengthens attention span and it boosts your decision making skills. It prompts growth of new nerve cells and blood vessels. Um, it also improves multitasking and planning. Um, I don't know about multi multitasking for sure because I kind of like, I will start something and wander off and go start something else. And I do it a lot and <laughs> I don't know why. I will literally start something I need to get done and I'll quit and go do something else. And like an hour or so later, come back and be like, oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Or go on a route, well I used to do this where um, when I was drinking a lot of pop, that was my main drink, I would go in a room and forget what the hell I went in there for. So, yeah. Okay, so number five. Big five -o. Um, Reduce your stress. This is huge because if you're trying to lose weight and you have a lot of stress, it releases cortisol into your belly, which produces fat. It'll make your fat grow. So, ways to reduce that would be practice stretches. Um, if you have an office job, do some stretching. I would say every two or three hours if you can. It can be as much as standing up and going, Ugh! and maybe going down to the floor and touching your toes a few times. That will help wake you up too if you're somebody who's really, you're tired a lot um, at work and you sit. Um, focus on one task at a time. I know there are people who think it's awesome to multitask, and if you can stick to that, that's great, but it, studies have been showing that multitasking can reduce um, your focus and you won't get as much done. Um, that has definitely been something I, uh, I have an issue with. <laughs> okay, so, and get enough sleep. You should be getting at least seven to eight hours a night. Um, not only does that reduce your stress, but it helps you lose weight. Um, it helps you eat in the, um, the right foods. If you don't eat the right foods, generally you might make, might go for more like snacking. Um, I know I like crave a lot, or not crave, I really want like sugary items when I don't get enough sleep. Never fails, every time. Okay, listen to your favorite music. And I wouldn't suggest hard rock music, that kind of gets you like, you know, like, 
Yeah! Um, I would listen to more like calming music, which might be kind of sort of boring stuff, but it can really calm you down. Um, classical music does that for me, and piano music and flute music, even rainforest sounds, you guys. Um, take deep breaths. If you start to feel your, your stress, like, I'm gonna freak out, just go. Yeah, it's the same thing you do when I um, for my tips for um, how to go to sleep better. Okay, um, also walk and talk it out with somebody that you feel comfortable and trust. I mean, you're stressing about something, go for a walk and talk it out. I used to do that with my husband, and it works so well, guys. I always feel like I I can solve the 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 problem and whatever else I have I have an issue with if I go and walk and talk about my hubby. Um, all right, guys. So I hope those five tips helped you. Um, please comment below if they did, and if you want to know about something else, please comment that below as well, and I will do a video on it. Please like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate um, all of my subscribers. I appreciate the comments on my my videos and. Um, I don't think I will ever stop looking at those comments. I think some of the bigger channels seem to do that. Um, I, even if I never get like big like that, it doesn't even matter. But just know that I will always comment back because you are human and I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, guys. Hashtag team love yourself. And don't forget to do personal development today, guys. It's really important.